Hi everyone and welcome to another Boodle Woodle tutorial. This time I want to give you a helpful little tip on sorting out stars that are on the edge of your images and that may be a little bit wonky, particularly if like me you don't uh, have a coma corrector fitted um, and you get these wonky stars at the end, these egg shaped stars that we want to get rid of. Uh, lots of other tutorials on uh, my series about stars and how to sort out stars but this is just a quick little tip very useful for sorting out these stars with a quick um, keyboard press and a click with your magic wand and you can get them sorted so what we're going to do first of all is you're going to need to select your magic wand tool and you want to set the tolerance to about 50 or 60 so that when you select one of these egg shaped stars you can select all of it so let's just do that now so we've got our wand tool selected tolerance here is set to 60 and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit uh, so you can see the sort of stars that I'm talking about so here we have a good example this one here for instance so I'm gonna click on that with my magic wand tool and if I if you haven't got it all selected don't panic just uh, press your um, shift key and select again and there you go and it will just select the, the, the rest of the star now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my F7 key and if you watch that you'll see what happens okay and what I've done there is I've applied a radial blur to it and it's made that star nice and round let's just do another one so you can see what I'm doing so again press the shift key if you haven't quite got it all there you go and then I'm pressing the F7 key now nothing will happen for you if you press the F7 key because we haven't got to that uh, next part in the tutorial where I show you how to set up an action and apply this radial blur. But uh, if I just click that on and off you can see, let me just select that one out of there, stay out of the way, and so if I click that on and off you can see the stars that I have done, all egg shaped, are now nice and round. So what am I doing to, to get that to happen when I press the F7 key? Well, all I'm doing is you go up here to filter and you go to blur and then you go to uh, radial blur. You'll see in the radial blur dialog box, I've got the amount set to 100. I've got blur method set to spin and I've got the quality set to best. I'll say OK for that. Now. To apply this to the stars, uh, you've got to do, uh, you've got to set an action. Well, you can do, you don't have to set an action, but it's better if you do. Um, and what you're actually doing is you're selecting the star, and then you're going to modify expand, and you're expanding it by four pixels, and then you're selecting it again, and you're going to modify feather, and you're feathering it by two pixels and then you're applying filter blur radial blur and the amount is 100 percent spin and best and that's done uh, but to make that happen and make it happen quick because you want to be doing it for every single star all i'm doing is i'm making an action out of it and then assigning that action to uh, my any key you like i've got it assigned to f7 so let's just take you through that process now so you know how to do it so first of all we need to go up here to window and you can go to actions or press alt plus f9 and you can see here that i've got the action set up so the first uh, i've just called it um hang on. i've called it fast select expand feather stars and all i'm doing is it's select the expanded feather stars color range expand and feather <laughs> I'm confusing myself now. Right, let's start again. So how do we go about doing this? Let's just go back to the basics. So first of all, we want to create an action. Now to create an action, we look down here on these little um, icons down here. It's just like using a tape recorder, really. So it's quite simple to do. So you can begin the recording. You can uh, play the selection. You can create a new set and then put that in there. Uh, you can create a new action and you can delete it so let's just create a new action just for the sake of it um, so we'll press 
that little icon there and it comes up with your action so you can put in there um, sorting the stars out or whatever you like so I'll just call it sorting out stars um, and then you can put it in your set so if you've created a set with your little icon next to it you can then put it in that particular set I shall put it just in default actions for now because I've already done it just showing you how to do it and I'll assign it the function key F6 and I'll give it a color and I'll call it let's say blue and then it you know I'm ready to record so when I press record it will do what I'm asking it to do so press record and then what we do is we go to filter and we go to hang on start again sorry about this right first of all we go to the magic wand tool and then we select one of our wonky stars so just say I don't know say this one was wonky it's not because I've sorted out but we'll select it anyway okay so that star is selected let's imagine that it's a wonky star oh, come on let's let's pick a wonky star shall we uh, must be one here somewhere. Yeah, there's a one. There's a wonky star, so we'll pick that one. Just press shift to make sure that's done. And remember, you're recording what you're doing here uh, on your actions. Your little red recording button is down there. So then we go to um, select, modify, and we'll go to expand. And we'll expand by four, and then we'll go to select, modify, and we'll feather that by two pixels. Okay, that's the first bit that you're recording, and then we're going to go to filter, blur, and a radial blur, and we're going to set those to a hundred percent spin and best, and we'll say OK. And that is the action recorded. You can do it again if, you, if it's not enough and you want to do it again. Uh, do it again and it will do that when you press your assigned button. We'll do it twice rather than. I did find doing it twice was a little bit more useful than doing it once, but you can sort that one out depending on how blurred your stars are. Okay, so when that's done and you're ready, you want to actually stop your recording. So it's this first button here. The, Little square stop play recording stop okay and then that's it you've got your uh, you've got your uh, action ready to go and assigned so if I if you look up here in my actions it says sorting out stars and the key has been assigned F6 so there it is so now all I have to do is with my magic wand select a wonky star that one will do and then I just press um, my action set to get going. So off you go. And there it does. It sorts it out. And uh, hang on. Select the star. Set the selection. Check the selection. Add to selection. Now we're just going to skip down to expand because that's the bit I wanted to do. So off we go. There we go. And then it sorted that one out. You get the idea. You basically create an action using radial blur. And uh, that will, then you can apply that to all your stars. So I'm now going to delete that particular one that I've just created because I've already got it. So we'll delete that. And like I said, you can create a set and put your actions in the set. Very, very helpful. Very uh, good way of doing it. And once you've done it, like I said, it's nice and easy then. You've already got that action selected, ready to go. So if you've got some horrible or wonky stars like that one, let's zoom in on it so you can have a good look. Right there. Okay. Um, I just want to select a little bit more. So press the shift key. There we go. So it's all selected. Now I just press my assigned key for my action, which is in my case F7. And watch the wonky star disappear 
you can't do this if you select all of the stars and apply it will not work you've got to do it on individual style but just to give you a demo as we go along so let's select a few more that one there we go that one and um, there's a nice one from him so you get the idea it's a very nice way of sorting out wonky stars egg shaped stars you have to sit there and press each one and I know some of you might be thinking well that's pretty tedious but it's, this is more a sort of very selective way of doing it because there are a lot of other ways that I've shown you my tutorials to select stars and sort them out but I like this way because sometimes just on the edge in the corner of an image like this one you've just got a few stars that are a little bit out of shape and this is a really nice way of just getting in there and sorting them out let's do one more okay i'm going to zoom out and i've done quite a few of them in this corner working on them so if i show you what it looks like after i've done it that's that's after i've finished doing it this is what it looked like before i started so you can see if i see that's before i started and that's after working with that little method sorting out those particularly these ones down in the bottom corner if you look at that that's how they were before and that's how they are now so hopefully that will be of some use to you all when you're uh, sorting out your astro images and trying to sort out the stars and hopefully it's useful to those of us who can't afford coma correctors and all the luxury items that go with doing astrophotography Okay, so there we go. That's a simple little tutorial on how to sort out egg-shaped stars using radial blur and then setting a action, um, an action tool up there to just get it easily done and assigned to a key. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next Boodle World tutorial. Thank you very much.